everyone. Lurie Walls, The Mermaid Room. Again, I'm still having a look at this corkscrew and enemy. I got this, it's a 20 gallon innovative marine aquarium. We're all set up here with the uh, prime AI light. We've got the ghost skimmer skimming crazy strong. Clarky clownfish over here. If you just heard that snap, that happens to be the pistol shrimp that hosts with this corkscrew anemone. Now, I've been kind of looking around the internet to see other corkscrew anemones, and you really don't see this very often. And this guy, well, like I said, this is a 20 gallon innovative marine and he pretty much takes up the entire tank. I've removed several different corals because his long tentacles will reach out and sting them. Clownfish want nothing to do with him and he host with a pistol shrimp. Now behind him right now, let's see if we can see, macroalgae, this macroalgae kind of reminds me of uh, like an English ivy. There's these cute little round leaves on it and it and it's a real thick blanket of ivy that's growing up that rock right there. Not very much uh, I think can really deal with the sting of this anemone. See these tentacles? I see a lot of people calling uh, other anemones uh, a corkscrew anemone, but I've seen very few of them that actually look like this. Very few. Which is why I'm making another video about this particular animal. Now this aquarium is actually uh, kind of tough for me to keep clean and I, I, I did mess up by not keeping up with, you know, water changes the way a small tank needs to be, you know, taking care of water changes pretty regularly. And I really slacked off on this. So there's uh, kind of a brown film of diatoms and whatnot growing in here. And I'm working on getting that cleaned up. But for now, um, I'm not going to stress over it. You can't put your hand in this aquarium without a glove on. Obviously, uh, stinging is a problem. Pretty much almost anywhere you put your hand in here. So, when feeding time comes, even this shrimp, the cleaner shrimp back here, gets really bold, comes out here, grabs food, has been stung. And he pops, you know, releases himself from the grip of this. Oh, I heard another snap. I think that the pistol shrimp does not like when I'm messing with the tank, even close by. He's, it, I don't know if that's a warning snap from him or <laughs> sounds like he's begging. He might be hungry or it's a warning. So, either way, he's pretty vocal at the moment, or snapping. He doesn't use a mouth to do that. He uses his little claw, and it is a cute little red pistol shrimp, but uh, I don't think we're going to get a glimpse of him. Oops, sorry. Some dirty sand, maybe, but... Uh, Anyhow, I just thought I would share another <laughs> look at this corkscrew anemone. He was already hosted with the crystal shrimp when I purchased him and brought them right here, dropped them in the front of the uh, sand area, and that shrimp pushed the body he was all balled up, you know, he was not happy. I had no idea it was going to unfold itself to this great big 
space using up the basically the most of this 20 gallon aquarium <clears throat> so we have a mixture of let's see some other random mushrooms in here some pizza anemones back there just things that uh, I was hoping would be able to withstand the stinging. Oh, look at this. Yeah, he's he's touching record, <clears throat> the recordia. Ah, see, I thought I moved him far enough away, and I really haven't seen that happening. But this is this is a dangerous anemone. Look at him. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm just going to hurt you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and part of his leg popped off. Actually, I have been cleaning in this aquarium before, and ends of these very fine tentacles have gotten caught up in a rubber hose or something I was siphoning, and then they just break off. So I... <clears throat> I don't know what to say about it. It's just unexpected to have this in my aquarium and, and I'm hoping that people will find this interesting because you're not gonna see this very often. Well, I have a hard time finding any, so enjoy. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by.